So you want to live in Jasper, Georgia. Well, Jasper is known as the first mountain city and the marble capital here in Georgia. And throughout this video, I'm going to show you why. We're going to take a tour through the city, through the neighborhood, so you can see a good sample of homes. And I'll break down the market analysis of Jasper so you can know the prices. And we're going to get started right now. So if you're new to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living and exploring Northwest Georgia, give this video a like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you can stay up to date on all the videos I produce and on the current market trends here in Northwest Georgia. My name is Christopher Owens and I love working with people just like you who are wanting to make their move to here in Jasper or Northwest Georgia. So give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. That way I can make that transition for you as smooth as possible. And you're gonna find all the information you need to know in the description below. So like I said, we are here in Jasper. I'm on Main Street. On Main Street, you're gonna find a lot of nice restaurants, boutiques, some salons. It's right in the heart of Jasper. And the scenery is just gorgeous. Everywhere you look, you're gonna see mountains. Jasper is just on the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, throughout this video, we are going to take a good sample of homes. I'm going to sample homes between the $200,000 range to $300,000 range and $400,000 range between $500,000 range and one on the upper end, a little above $900,000. So with that, let's get to our first house. Hey, so we're here at our first house and this house is a real beauty. Really, it sits on a nice hill so you can get some good views of the mountains around in Jasper. Nice little community, nice and quiet. You still have some good space. This house sits on one acre, which is really good. This house is $289,900. It has four beds and three baths. It's a little over 2,000 square feet and it brings the price of square foot at 141. So really nice, just under the average here in Jasper. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice big front porch, has three big back decks. Uh, since it is sloped, the backyard, you're not going to have too much of a backyard since so it is on a mountain, you know, mountain hilly terrain. But the basement there is fully, uh, fully remodeled, fully furnished. It has a nice kitchen, uh, living space, bedrooms and bathrooms down there. Uh, the whole house is completely renovated, so no problems right there. And, you know, it sits on a beautiful lot. So just wanted to show this as my first home. And with that, let's head to our next house. All right, we're here at our second house. Uh, this house is just uh, about 13 minutes away from downtown Jasper, right on Main Street. Uh, up here, you're up in the mountains. I mean, as you can see in our, in our views, the views are beautiful. Um, and what's cool about this property, you have a little over two acres. And the house that you're gonna see right behind me, it is around 440,000. It has three beds and two and a half baths. It's a little over 2,000 square feet. And that brings the price per square foot at 191. So a little bit above the average you're gonna find here in Jasper. Um, but again, you have two acres on this beautiful mountain lot. And now the house itself though, it was built in 1915, but don't worry, a lot of custom renovations have been done, a lot of extensive work, but thankfully they did keep a lot of the original walls, a lot, a lot of the original plank walls, a lot of the original wood flooring is there, so there's a ton of character in the home. There's beam ceilings um, in multiple rooms, uh, cathedral style beam ceilings in the kitchen. The kitchen does have stainless steel appliances. Uh, so. The house itself is just gorgeous. Um, so a lot of great curb appeal, beautiful scenery. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed with this home. So with that, let's move to our next house. So for our last home, unfortunately, I was not able to get up to the home to give you a front view like I usually do, but to go over the specifics of the home, you know, the home is $950,000, is close to 5,900 square feet. And there are six beds, six bathrooms, that brings the price per square foot at 161. So pretty affordable for everything you get and it sits on 10 acres. Uh, the house is furnished with a nice 
executive chef kitchen. The basement has a kitchen and living space as well. Beautiful decks to get the views of the mountains. Uh, a lot of windows let in the natural light. You're just 11 minutes from downtown and you know, just five, six miles away from you know, Pickens County School. So even though you're out in the mountains, you have a lot of the space to enjoy the privacy. You know, you're just an 11 minute drive from downtown. So not too bad. Uh, pretty nice location. And again, just beautiful breathtaking views inside a beautiful home. So that was our last house. Now let's head over to Wally Drop's Sweet Shop to get a quick shake since it's so you know, a little hot outside. Um, and we'll go over kind of the restaurants and shops you will see here on Main Street in downtown Jasper. And we'll go over a little market analysis. So let's head over to Lottie Drops. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the sample of homes that we saw. Again, that was just a sample here in Jasper. You can actually find a, a good range of homes, a lot of price points for everybody here. Um, so I came here since it's a hot summer day. I came here to Lolly Drop Sweet Shop and I got a mint chocolate chip shake, one of my favorite flavors. Great way to beat the heat. So what's cool about the Lolly Drop Treat Shop is that they have 20 different flavors of ice cream and they have a lot of like nostalgic candies. Uh, they have over 300 different types of candy. They have toys. Uh, you can also get coffee here. So Lolly Drop Treat Shop is a great place to go, uh, especially on a hot summer day. Get some ice cream, cool off. So I just wanted to go over some of the other places you're gonna find here on Main Street in downtown Jasper. There's a place called Jack's Coffee Company. You know, it's a great place to reconnect with family and friends, get some work done, relax. You know, they serve great coffee, they have tea, um, and, and a lot of, you know, pastries and baked goods. They also do some live music there. So it's a pretty cool place to go, kind of a happening place to be right here just on main street so pretty convenient location another place is 61 main and in 61 main what makes it pretty cool i mean it's it's a lot, place for breakfast a kind of brunch lunch it's open 11 to 3 but on saturdays it's 9 to 12 and mondays they are open uh in the evening for supper it's the only time they they have the supper menu and that changes weekly and their supper menu is really nice, very fresh. Like I said, it changes weekly. All their produce, all their supplies come from local farms in this area. And their wines come from the local vineyards and wineries in this area as well. Uh, so 61 Main's a cool place to go, get some great food. And you know, it's, you know, it comes from the farm to your table. So it's very fresh there. Another cool place is I love New York pizza and bar. So, I mean, of course, in the title, what you're going to find there is New York style pizza and they do it just right. So great New York style pizza. They also have a lot of the, the Italian food favorites, you know, like calzones, strombolis, they have pastas there. And, you know, they also do karaoke nights and some community events. So it's a cool place to go and hang out, uh, you know, do karaoke night, test out your singing skills and get to know a little more of the community. That's a, I love New York pizza, really cool place. Another cool place to go for, for lunch, get a sandwich is Coach's Cuts Hoagies. Coach's Cuts Hoagies has full slab deli meats, deli slices, and you know, they make their, your sandwich to your liking. You know, everything's fresh there. It's a local favorite and it's just right off Main Street, just, uh, just a block down from Main Street on the north end. So Coach's Cuts Hoagies, awesome place for a great sandwich. Another cool place is Old Meal House. They make all their food from scratch and their views from their restaurant is breathtaking. They have a beautiful outdoor eating area. Uh, it's fairly large too. They have a lot of nice you know, string lights. It's covered, got fans, uh, you know, beat the heat. But you're, you're gonna wanna be outside. You're gonna wanna be by the window because you're gonna see uh, you know, all the mountain ranges around here in Jasper, you know, remember Jasper being you know, the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains of the Blue Ridge. So you're, you know, you're mountain country. Uh, so Old Moo House, also awesome place. Another, another reason, you know, they do live music there as well. So a lot of places on this main street do a lot of live music. Uh, so it's a great place to, you know, just get in touch with the community, 
get a lot of culture here. A lot of the up and coming artists. Right next to the Mule House, you find the Carriage House. Now the Carriage House, they serve great breakfast. They have a lot of the breakfast favorites and they serve wonderful sandwiches and desserts there. So awesome place to check out and grab a bite to eat. So some of the shopping you're gonna find here on Main Street, Design on Main. There you're gonna find a lot of cool wedding gifts, uh, baby gifts, you know, baby showers. Great place for home decor, uh, furniture. You're gonna find a lot of place, a lot of things there. So that Designs on Main, also Clock Tower Gifts and Boutique. Really cool jewelry, um, home decor and clothing. Raven Bear is an interesting store. You're gonna find a lot of the uh, metaphysical things, a lot of uniqueness there, a lot of unique items there. So pretty cool. I haven't seen a store like that actually. So, and that's just right here on Main Street. Neat little place to go check out. Daisy Boutique is a women's clothing, shoes, and accessories store. Uh, that's Daisy Boutique. And Magnolia's on Main is another women's clothing boutique store. So a lot of shopping you can do just on Main Street. Check out the restaurants, go shopping, you know, on a beautiful day, just like today. So it's very easy to do here. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the things uh, to do around Jasper, especially just around the downtown area. Lee Newton Park has a large field, stage area, uh, place to get your feet wet. Town Creek just runs right through the park. So, you know, you can go bring your kids, they can get the feet wet, uh, play in the water a little bit, beat the heat. Another cool park is Jasper City Park. It's also nicknamed Duck Pond Park. And the reason being, they have a nice big pond, a little waterfall that feeds into it, nice paved walkways there, big fields. So a great place to bring the family and the kids. That's Jasper City Park. And the Reaper Park has a ton of baseball fields, uh, kind of recreational area. It's right across the street from the Pickens County Junior High good place to you know they also have a pool basketball court so it's reaper park a lot of nice parks around this downtown area another cool place to go is the burnt mountain preserve now the burnt mountain preserve they have a, three trails and each one ranging in difficulty also fairly close to downtown uh, another great place just right off main street is the old pickens county jail the jail was actually built in early 1900s and was used still as a jailhouse till 1982 What's cool about the old Pickens County Jail is that the second floor housed the inmates and the first floor was the sheriff or the jailer residence where he can he and his family can go. And the, bu the building is beautiful. They have a nice marble faced building. Again, this is the marble capital of Georgia. So a lot of the marble that was excavated here, uh, you know, is used in a lot of different buildings like the U.S. Capitol, most of the marble used on the nation's capital uh, came from Georgia, came from this area. They're one of the biggest marble quarries here in this area, just down and just right outside of Jasper and Tate, Georgia. So a pretty cool place. It's one of the historic buildings right here on Main Street. So a nice place to go check out after you visit all the shops and the restaurants. Uh, so that is the uh, Old Pickens County Jail. Pretty cool. And, you know, just has a cool look to it. So now that we've gone over kind of what's the surrounding areas, now I want to get into the numbers and break down kind of what the real estate market is right now. So the median listing home price is 245,000, around, around 245,000. The median price per square foot is 151. And the median sold home price is 276. So, I mean, Fairly similar to the other areas I covered in other, on my other vlog tours. Maybe a little more expensive, but again, there are price points and ranges for everyone here. Jasper has a population of just around 4,000. So it is a growing city. It's just an hour or so away from Atlanta. So a lot of the Atlanta growth influence has come from there. But Jasper does have a ton to offer. It is a mountain city. You know, you have the Appalachian Mountains in your background, in your backyard. A lot of things to do, a lot of hiking, a lot of creeks and lakes coming from the mountain area. I know it's uh, labeled the first mountain city here in Georgia, marble capital of Georgia. So great place to be. So, if, you know, if you like this video, you think Jasper is for you, give me that call, send me a text, send me an email. That way I can make that transition for you as, as smooth as possible. You know, let's schedule that Zoom call so we can see, you know, if we can work together, see what kind of specifics you're looking at. That way I can expedite the process for you. 
Also, if you found this video interesting, give this video a good thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you can stay up to date on my other videos I produce and on the current market trends here in Jasper, Georgia, and also in Northwest Georgia. And if you also like this video, you know, leave a good comment below. If there's other areas you want to explore. You know, we can explore together another video. Give a good comment below. I love having that conversation with y'all. So that about wraps it up for our video today. Until next time, y'all take care and I'll see you soon.